Hello, this is the second part of the revision video for ECDL Module 6, Part 6.1.1, First Steps with Presentations. Learning Point 6.1.1.6 Save a presentation in another file type such as rich text format, template, image file format, software specific file extension or version number. There may be occasions where I cannot save my presentation in PowerPoint, i.e. the person doesn't have a copy of PowerPoint, or I want to use the presentation in a different purpose. I may want to open my presentation in Microsoft Word, in which case I could select rich text format. If I was designing a presentation to be used on lots of different presentations, I might save it as a template, so I could open that up and use it again and again. If I wanted to just save my slides as a number of images rather than as PowerPoint slides, I could select image file format. Or I could choose to save it in a previous version of PowerPoint. For instance, if the person I'm sending my PowerPoint to may have PowerPoint 1995 rather than PowerPoint 2003. To do this, we go File, Save As, and we can see if we look down the bottom, it says save as type. And this normally says presentation. If we scroll down the list, we can see that we've got different options here. If I wanted to save it as a rich text format, I select outline rich text format or outline RTF. And give it a file name and click save and if I go to open that I can see that the file here is ECDL module 6.1.1 RTF I can double click that and it will open up into a copy of Microsoft Word and it will have the outline of the slides but obviously does not have the design and the pictures Another way to save this is as a template, in which case I would go File, Save As, Save As Type, and I'd scroll down the list until I saw Design Template. I click Design Template here and give it a meaningful file name. Then I click Save. If I wanted to save my slides as a number of images, I'd go File, Save As, Save As Type, and I'd scroll through the list until I saw the graphics type I would like. Now this could be GIF, JPEG, PNG, or TIFF. The image type that we normally use on the internet is JPEG, so I'm going to save it as that and call it ECDL module 6.1.1 images. It gives me the option here to save every slide or just the one that I want that I'm on at the moment and I'm going to choose current slide only which is just the one that I'm working on at the moment. Now if I go down to the desktop, I can see that I can uh, double click this image and I've got my slide here as a picture file. This means that the person I send it to doesn't have to have a copy of Microsoft PowerPoint to be able to view it. Lastly, if I wanted to save this, this is a copy of Microsoft PowerPoint 2003. If the person I was sending it to only had a copy of PowerPoint 95, I could go File, Save As, Save As Type, PowerPoint 95, go to my desktop and give it a meaningful name. And lastly click Save. It will give me a warning that some of the features that I've used are not compatible with PowerPoint 1995. 
and it will give the option to say yes I will continue I'm aware of these risks or no I won't save it in PowerPoint 1995 version I'm going to click yes because I have to save it as a PowerPoint 95 presentation because the person I'm sending it to does not have PowerPoint 2003 learning point 6.1.1.7 switch between open windows Earlier on in the presentation, I opened three files. These were my trip to Paris, learning to write, and this file that I'm currently working on. I also then created a fourth file, which was a blank one that we used as a test. If I wanted to switch between these, there are two different ways I can do this. I can either go down to the window start bar and pick the presentation I'd like to view, or within PowerPoint, I could go Window, and it lists here all of the presentations that I've got open. So if I wanted to open my trip to Paris, I click on that, and it opens. If I wanted to click change back to the first ECDL presentation, I go Window, and click on the presentation there. Learning point 6.1.8, Use Available Help Functions. PowerPoint and the other Microsoft Office applications have a very extensive help system that you can use if you got into trouble. To do that, you go up onto the toolbar and click Help, and then Microsoft Office PowerPoint Help, or you click on the little blue question mark here. This will open the Help bar on the right-hand side, and you can search for what you want to look for. So if I wanted to look for some information on saving, I could click for uh, search for saving, click the green arrow button, and it will see there, save a file. I click on the option, and it will open up that help document and will give me more information on how to do that. When I'm finished, I just click the red cross, and I click the cross over here where my search results are and I'm back to using PowerPoint again. Learning point 6.1.1.9 Close a presentation. Sometimes we want to close a presentation but not close the whole of PowerPoint. In my case I might want to close the learning to write presentation in which case I go to that presentation and I click the little cross here, the lower cross, and that presentation's closed. If I also wanted to close my first presentation, I could do that that way, or alternatively, I could go File and Close. And that will close the presentation, but will still leave my PowerPoint open so that I can work on my other two files.